So this game is called Anacon Animal Complex. This is a little demo of a, a full thing. I'm not even fully understanding if it's complete or not. But, yeah, whatever. Let's just play it. You know, I like it. You guys love it when I play random wacky little things like this. Directional key. Good for that. Skip dialogue. Left, up, right. I'm probably just be using the mouse here. Chapter select. Prologue. So why not? One summer's day. Smash. Huh? What's that sound? Sweat. <laughs> you again? Kleena? Klena? I'm gonna pick one. Pick one. Pick one and roll with it. Kleena. We're gonna call her that. I I'm sorry. Sigh. You know what? This is getting ridiculous. If we stacked all the plates you have broken, we'd have a mountain by now. I'm sorry to say this, but the next time you break another plate, I will have to... Get out. Oh, fired. Poor girl. Ah, uh, I've done it again. My name is Kleena, your normal everyday girl. I just moved to this small town recently. With little savings left, I was hoping I could find a stable job. But as you can see, it's a lot harder than I thought. To think the summer has just begun. Huh? What's that? That's a, that's a circus there. D Circus. What an odd name. A circus, huh? I've never seen that one before. It looks like, it looks like a lot of fun. I might feel better if I watch it. And with what money do you plan on attending D Circus, the monk? Look, 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 look at this monkey. Uh huh? A monkey? What are you? He's handing me a ticket. A ticket? Is this a ticket for the circus? Let's see. 5Z. Wow, that's really cheap. Is it? I don't know. I'm not familiar with this world's currency. Alrighty, let me have one. Huh? Huh? My, my, my wallet! It's gone! <gasps> oh no! No, not again! I must have dropped it somewhere. This is why I have a hard time keeping a job. I'm such a scatterbrain. I always mess things up somehow. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey. <laughs> Look at that face! I don't have money for the circus. Maybe next time. Pat, pat. Oh, what's he doing there? What a cute monkey. So kind and polite. The circus has trained it well. Will there be more cute animals like it at the circus? No, I'm not leaving just like this. I want to see more. Let's see. There are some caravans behind the tents. Maybe I can find more animals here. I'm getting the feeling this is a game you could probably find on, like, the Google Play Store. <laughs> That's probably what this is. Maybe I can find more animals here. Cute animals. Cute animals. Don't ask me where I get these things, either. I don't know. I just stockpile stuff like this, and it sits on my hard drive for month months until I'm like, you know what? I need random crap to upload. <laughs> Next thing you know, monkeys. Cute animals. Here I come. Wait a second. I wonder if this counts as trespassing. If they catch me, will I be imprisoned? That would be a tragedy. Guys, what are you doing? Look at the time. Time? Oh no, we are late. Mom is going to be really mad. Huh? Whose voice is that? Is someone there? Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Wait for me. Ow. Oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Are you okay? Oh, it's a cat. Huh? A cat? How cute! Wait a second. That's not a cat. It's a guy! Bamboozled again. Bamboozled. Wait, what's this thing here? Puzzle. Do I really care? Okay, there's there's a puzzle thing. Whatever that is. 
dot, 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 dot. Uh huh. That's right. I'm not a heroine of a novel or anything. I'm just your normal everyday girl, one you could find anywhere. If you were to write a story with someone like me in the lead role, it would surely be. a comedy. Indeed. Life is a comedy. Yes, it is. A very, a comedy with dark humor. Uh, uh, a uh, boy. No, a cat. No, no, no. A boy just changed into a cat. Dude, what's she talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. I don't give a fuck snail. It's the other way around. All right. It's just a cat that changed into a boy. That's nothing surprising. Huh? What kind of sorcery is this? Haha, <laughs> she's kind of slow, yeah? Hella slow. That's not- that- that is not the problem. How can you all be so calm? This girl, she has seen us. What should we do? It's not my fault. She appeared out of nowhere. Everyone, where are our manners? <laughs> this is not how you treat a lady. Are you all right, my lady? Y yes, I'm fine. Blush. Don't d stop blushing. Stop blushing. That's an elephant. So many cute animals, huh? All oh, the animals are talking. Dude, we got it. You are slow, and we get it. You're a snail. You can stop saying the s word so casually. She's funny, bunny. Hey, it rhymes like a crime. Oh, shut up. Cough. This may be an unforeseen circumstance, but... Aren't we all forgetting something here? Mom is waiting. No. The performance. Hurry! Hurry! Er, uh, hurry! F furry. Wait. Hurry furry? Oh, okay. Hurry furry. Curry. Sh shut up, Din. Aha. Everyone's gonna get punished at this rate. It is unfortunate, but we have to leave now. Can we leave her to you, D uh, Dalos? Sure. You guys go on ahead. I will catch up as soon as I can. Very well, then. Adios, my lady. <laughs> God dang it. Adios, my lady. Quite a riot, huh? Our family, that is. Yes, they are. Huh? Y you guys are a family? Yes, they are all my siblings. How cute! A family of animals. Huh? How can that be possible? You guys are all different species. Isn't that impossible, scientifically speaking? Oh, wait. I failed science. <laughs> hey, there's something we both got in common, Kleena. Who cares about science? Just make Pokemon videos. So maybe it is possible. Chuckle. You got it backwards. We are humans who can change into animals. Not the other way around. Is that so? I see. That makes sense. Huh? Wait, it doesn't. Ha 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 ha. I know you have a lot of questions. Truth be told, I have no idea what to do with you now that you've discovered our secret. Um, can I ask something? Yes. Are you going to eat me? Pardon? Oh, wait. I don't know what owls eat. Maybe Mr. Lion will eat me instead. Setting our appearances aside, we are still human. We are not into cannibalism. <laughs> is that really what she was talking about, though? This is... This is an otome... I'm gonna stop talking. So it's prison. I knew it. It has to be prison. If you're going to imprison me, be sure to feed me good food, okay? <laughs> you are a funny girl. Don't worry, we are nice people. I'm sure mom will come up with something that will make everything work out. I'm warning you, though. Our mom is something else. I cannot predict in which direction she will cook you. You guys are going to eat me anyway! Once I was told, Life is a tragedy for those who feel. 
A comedy for those who think. And it's... It's a tragic comedy is what it always is. You can stay here for now. I will be right back. Okay. At least this doesn't look like a prison. I wonder why Mr. Owl asked me to stay here, though. It's making me nervous for some reason. Sweat. What should I do? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I, I got choices. Let's make a save. All right. Uh, look around the room. Hmm. There are many things hanging on the wall. What should I see first? Uh, the left wall. How about that? There's a poster on the wall. Look at that lion there. Ooh, let's see. Cat, sheep, rabbit, lion, elephant, snail, owl, pig, and monkey. There are nine of them. I think I've met most of them. So they are all brothers. How very curious. The world is full of mystery. They're all very cute, aren't they? Yes, they are. Huh? Oh, who are you? I see. So you are the one. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, who are you? Little girl, what is your name? Oh, my name is, uh, Kleena. At least I think- I'm hoping it's Kleena, not Klena. Kleena, huh? How old are you? I just turned 16. Good, good. Do you have a job? I'm currently unemployed. I see, I see. Do you love animals? Very much. I love them very much. Perfect. This is perfect. Um, why do you ask? Knowledge is power. I just wanted to learn a thing or two about my future daughter-in-law. Future daughter-in-law. Why, of course. That is you. Oh, I see. Huh? Wait a second. Me? I'm the owner of D Circus. I've heard from da uh, Dalos. Is it Dalos? Dalos? I'm gonna say Dalos. Because I usually see when it with with the T, it's, it's you say it as Talos, but yeah, whatever. I'm gonna say it wrong for somebody, no matter what I do. Dalos, that you accidentally discovered my children's true identities. That is why we will have you work under us from today onwards. Cleaning, sweeping, and keeping things in order. Simple task like that. That is what you are going to do on the surface, but in reality, your true mission is to get one of my sons to fall in love with you. <laughs> okay? Come again? Feel free to call me Mom in advance. I have high hopes for you, my dear daughter-in-law. Don't disappoint me. No, no, no! Something is wrong here. Like, why do I have to do that? Given that you now know about our family's secret, you have no choice but to accept this. This secret is our lifeline. We cannot let outsiders know about it. However, if you become one of us, then it would no longer be a problem, now would it? No, that would be a huge problem. Don't worry, we will feed you well. You can also live together with us free of charge. This sounds like imprisonment. Kidnapping. Illegal. On top of that, you can marry one of my sons. They're all very hot, you know. I don't want to hear a mom say that about any of her sons. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Um, what if I refuse? Oh my. <laughs> don't worry. Forcing people against their wishes is not my style. Feel free to, dec to decline if you think you're up to it. By the way, I happen to be very kind to those who refuse to listen to me. Care to try? No, Mom. I'll do it, Mom. I shall do my best, Mom. Chuckle. Good, good girl. I have already taken a liking to you. Delos will brief you on the daily chores around the circus. So this is... <laughs> All this happy, cheery music. Meanwhile, Dominatrix Mom pretty much kid is kidnapping this girl and forcing her <laughs> into a marriage. But let's be real, at the end of the day, this this girl here is, uh, we should add her to Picasprey's top MILF list. 
Before that, we have to decide which of my boys you would like to pursue. I'm not the least conceited when I say that my sons are the finest men you can find in town. There, the, there is a wide array of personalities, looks, and talents. You will have a hard time choosing. So who will it be? Um, I can't just choose like that. She, she hasn't even seen what all of them look like, except as animals. It'd be very concerning if she made her choice based on those looks alone. Hmm. Maybe I should change my approach. You love animals, don't you? How about this? Which animal do you love the most? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh all right. Well, I guess, and I guess I'm stuck being a cat person. So be it. And thus, curiosity killed the cat. This one. The cat? Nod, nod. Don't you think they are the cutest? I see, I see. That's a lovely choice. Delos, are you there? Come here. Yes? I'll leave Kleena to you. You know what to do, don't you? Your wish is my command. Good, good. I still have many things to do. This family scares me a little bit. <laughs> My dear daughter-in-law, go ask Delos if you have any additional inquiries. See you later. All right then, follow me. You can never leave. You're gonna have to marry a cat person now. Oh. This is where you'll be staying from now on. You may start moving your belongings here whenever you can. Your working hours are early morning, late afternoon, or whenever we are not performing. You can use any of the cleaning equipment inside the cupboards. Brooms, brushes, mops, you name it. We have it. Feel free to use whatever you deem necessary. Other than that, you are free to go anywhere you want. However, please refrain from leaving town without permission. Are you with me so far? <laughs> Look at that Uncle Sam pose. Yes. Good. Remember that while cleaning is your job, your true mission is to get our cat to fall for you. Don't worry, we will give you the whole year to win his heart. Um, what if I can't make it in a year? What will happen to me? That is a very good question. I wonder about that too. I don't, I'm not comfortable with this. Can we, can we, um, can we take Kleena and put her somewhere else as Patrick would say? I don't think you answered my question. In any case, feel free to ask around if you want any additional advice. And remember, don't leave town. I'll find you. I'm an owl. I see good even in the darkness. The choice is ultimately in your hands. <laughs> no, it's not. I wish you luck. I shall do my best. Good. Oh, before I forget, we will have a welcome party for you at the end of the day. I did mention that her family is a bit of a riot, but I'm sure you can handle it. Let's hope so. Haha. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you will do well. Please look forward to it. Wow, this is all kinds of crazy, even for my standards. Well, it was my fault for trespassing in the first place, so I guess I'll have to deal with it. They are a little strange, but they don't seem like bad people. Plus, I've already promised to do I'll do my best. Let's see. They are still performing now. I have to wait until late afternoon and before I can start working. Mr. Owl told me to move my things here. I might as well do that now. Dot to dot, dot to dot, dot to dot. Whew. That took a while, but I finally moved everything. Well, it's not like I have much things to begin with. Anyway, this is where I'll be staying from now on. It's not a bad feeling. Yeah, uh, Stockholm Syndrome's already setting in, huh? Performance has ended. Alrighty, time to get cracking. They know that she was a clumsy girl. Oh, free time. Boys room, caravan, main room, stage, circus, girls room. Um, let's break some stuff in the kitchen. How about that? Talk to the sheep. Well, I can make a save again here, so let's go ahead and do that. Talk to sheep. Examine the area. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Sheep. What are you doing? I'm currently preparing food for your welcome party. 
Do you have any requests? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm not picky, I'm fine with anything. Maybe something like a Caesar salad with tons of garlic. Or thinly sliced medium rare cold, cold beef? Kobe beef? Is that how you say it? Whatever. Dipped in soy sauce. Or cream of wild mushroom soup with truffle oil. Or hot chocolate fudge cakes. Those would be nice. Sorry, is that too specific? Pardon me, but I cannot make anything that exquisite. However, I should be able to make you hot chocolate fudge cakes. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. You're so nice. Blush. Mr. Sheep is so nice and polite. It makes me a little embarrassed. Oopsie. Down to there, um... I guess I should do my job and... Clean the circus? Cleaning menu. This area is really dirty. Would you like to clean it? Let's sweep. You found a puzzle piece. Ooh. That's how it works. I finished cleaning the area. Okay. Guess I should have done that in the kitchen since I can talk afterward. Bow. Oh, it's a super cute monkey. I'm happy to see you again. Smile. There's Cat. Mr. Cat is here too. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm doing the same thing as you. Before you came, I was the one responsible for cleaning the circus. I see. Hmm. Isn't he kind of cold? He's so adorable, hence I chose him on a whim, but... I really hope we can get along. Pat Pat. Are you here to cheer me up? Thank you, Mr. Monkey. You're the best. Tch. Am I going to be okay? Um... Go elsewhere. Oh, I t Okay, yeah, I'm spending my little hearts every time I do any action, so... I may should clean the stage. How about that? Let's sweep. Finish cleaning this area. Everything is good as new. There's not even a speck of dust on the floor. Hooray! Talk to Rabbit, I guess? Oh, it's you, Bunny. Bunny. I talk like that because it's cool. Like a pool. I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bunny? I'm working on a stage decoration for your welcome party, Bunny. Anything art-related is my job, Bunny. Wow, that's awesome. That's right, I'm super bright. He's cute, but really eccentric. I wonder what he would do if he runs out of words that rhyme. End of free time. Hey, wake up already. It's time for the welcome party. Huh? Oh. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Our heroine is finally here. We can start this party now that we got that, huh? You know what I mean? Oh, that's a stupid joke. I don't care. I'm sure all of you have heard it from Mom. This lovely girl here is Kleena. She will be working with us from now on. Uh, you know what? I just realized it probably actually is pronounced Kleena, and it's a joke because she's the cleaner. That's so stupid. <laughs> Everyone, please give her a warm welcome. Welcome! Whoa! Why are you all teary? Other than my first birthday, no one has ever celebrated anything for me. I'm so happy. Save your tears for later. Now's the time to enjoy yourself. Wow, poor girl. The best time of her life was when she was kidnapped by, by a group of circus animal, a uh, circus animorphs is probably the more accurate. Also that balloon, I just noticed the white balloon on the right there. Now's the time to enjoy yourself, eh? Yes, please enjoy yourself. I have prepared hot chocolate fudge cakes just for you. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. Enjoy. Bok choy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't prepare anything like that. I know, but it's showtime, so it's got to rhyme. Dude, won't you just zip it for the day? <laughs> this snail is like the squid word of this cast. Everyone, where are our manners? We have yet to introduce ourselves, have we not? That is right. The main purpose of this party is to let Kleena become better familiar with us. Without further ado, let us introduce ourselves. I'm the eldest, Delos. I'm the master of ceremonies and the accountant off stage. You mean the con man off stage? Cough. Did you say something, Land? 
No, nothing. Good. Now it's your turn, Die. Huh? It's already my turn. We're going from oldest to youngest. That's why you are next in line. I see. But what should I say? What's your name, Mr. Sheep? My name is Die. I'm in charge of our, our meals off stage. What about on stage? Please pardon him, my lady. Die gets embarrassed easily. Can you blame him? Dude's job is to get molested by the audience? Oh my. What? Look at all that fur. He's hella soft and smooth. You want to touch it too, right? C can I? <gasps> enough about me. Uh, na na Navid? Na Navid? I'm gonna say... <sighs> Navid? I'm gonna say Navid? Na or is it like David? Or it's just Navid? Oh, whatever. I'm sure I'm gonna say everyone's name wrong. I don't care. Finally, the time has come for me to introduce myself, my lady. This gentleman here is Navid, the third brother and one of the main performers. Elegantly juggling many balls at once is my best skill. Working on maintenance and repair is also my duty when I'm not performing. Or stealing food when no one is looking. Whoa, really? It is unfortunate, but a gentleman of my stature gets hungry rather easily. I, I make too many nice guy fedora lore jokes as it is, but this guy is just handing me... He's he's too easy for this. It's too easy. He says, my, my lady, and now he steals food and he wants to be a gentleman. Oh. Gets hungry rather easily. Rest assured, my table manners are perfect, my lady. I don't think that's the problem here. I love to eat, too. They do say great minds think alike. So, who's up next? What, me? Ah, oh, my bad. I'm Kid, the middle bro. Acrobatics are my life. Driving is my pastime. And this is Cad, my younger twin bro. He's, like, super adorable, yeah? What? You two are twins? Ah, we aren't really alike, though. My little bro may look co a little cold, but he's really just shy. You'll, you'll learn how endearing he is soon enough. Brother, what are you talking about? I'm not shy. L listen, I'm definitely, absolutely not shy. See? He's just so precious, ain't he? Nod, nod. Oh, burn, is, is it my turn? Drum roll, crunchy roll, Din is the name. Or Din is me, the third youngest bro. Talking nonsense is his job. Ignoring him is everyone's job. Okay, I'm next. I'm Land, the second youngest. My job is to be trampled on stage by me, bunny. Die, you annoying ball of fur. Annihilate. Obliterate. Um, they don't get along, do they? Oh, I see two very loving brothers. Is that how it is? So what do they do off stage? Do you really want to know? Um... Is it something I shouldn't know? No, not at all. It just involves... It just involves with a lot of blood and sweat, though. Huh? I'd appreciate it if you could stop messing with us, big bro. Right, please don't do it, big brother. Oh? When have I ever messed with all of you? All the time. Very loving brothers, aren't they? They even talk in sync. We are not. You see... Din writes horror stories, and Lan runs around distributing flyers. Both involve a lot of blood and sweat. <laughs> I only speak the truth, don't I? Girl, no matter what happens, don't ever let your guard down when facing this man. Right, don't be fooled by his look. He's scarier than my horror stories. Besides, I don't just write horror stories. I also do art-related stuff. Cough. Do you guys have a problem with that? N no, of course not. Yeah, yeah. Good! Well, 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 those two just do not know when to stop. Yes, going against Big Brother is a terrible mistake. Ha, <laughs> those two are gonna be so dead tonight. Is that everyone? I don't think so. Ar- 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 Archard? Yeah, that's- uh, that's Arch- Archard. Hasn't- has introduced himself yet. Archard? He's our youngest brother. Where did he go? Is that the monkey? Oh no, it's a, a blue pig. Oh, 
What's this feeling? My cheeks are heating up. The burning sensation in my chest. This increasing heart rate that can't be stopped. Is this what you call falling in love? Oh, okay. Ha! It's happening! It's happening! Archard's the man, yeah? Even if he's just a pig? Even if he's just a pig. Archard's like the most popular attraction in this circus. That pork, I mean, body is irresistible, yeah? I don't know why, but that's rather convincing for some reason. So are you guys done with the introductions? Oh, there's the mom with her with her little riding crop there. <laughs> don't get on her bad side. Mom, all my sons are wonderful, right? Yes, animals are the best. Don't you think she's praising a totally different thing? Anyway, the night is long. Enjoy your welcome party, my dear daughter-in-law. Yes. Uh, phew, I ate too much. It has been such a long time since I had this much fun. I thought it was going to be a nightmare, but I'm glad to be here. Everyone is so nice. So nice holding me here against my will. Uh, uh, intimidating me into doing what they want. A little strange, but really nice. But I can't seem to get along with Mr. Cat. Of all the animals, why did I decide to choose him? Well, because there wasn't any other options. I didn't have a choice. Once again, another video game that offers the illusion of choice. Ah, oh, will this work out? Huh? That's Mr. Cat. Hey, could you turn into the human so this feels a little less creepy? You're not on stage right now. M Mr. Cat? What's wrong? Here. Always oh, give me a little present. <gasps> My wallet! Did you find this for me? Yeah. I found it when I was sleep sweeping the floor just now. You mean near the circus entrance? That's right. G Giord... Giord... Giordano? Giordi... I don't know how to say that name. I don't know how to say anybody's name. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Now, there's already a thousand corrections that's going to be in the comments section. Why not make it a thousand and one? Thought it's probably yours. The monkey who's in charge of ticketing. Oh. The monkey G. Oh! Hug the cat. Thank you, Mr. Cat. I'm so happy. W what are you doing? Oh, he turned it to the guy. Whoa. Huh? D d d d don't, don't touch me. But you were a cat just a moment ago. I was like, it was like this too back then. Don't tell me. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Mr. Owl, you are half correct. Just as I have told you earlier, we are humans who have been turned into animals. We, were to, we will return to our original form whenever our heart rate increases above normal. Cat is the most sensitive among us. Just a little touch is enough to make him flustered. Of course, each of us have different triggers to our transformation. I will leave it to you to figure out the rest. I see. Th th that's why, please, don't touch me. It's not good for my heart. Remember what Kid told you earlier? Earlier, Cat is shy. Don't be afraid to tease him. Can I? Actually, go ahead and do it. Sweat. Oh my, he ran away. <laughs> Giggle. I was worried for a second, but I guess I have nothing to worry about. Mr. Cat is really cute. I'm glad I chose him. <laughs> that is great to hear. Remember, you can't run away. Ever. I'm uncomfortable. Welcome to D Circus. We hope you enjoy your stay. What does the D stand for? Have you ever regretted a question so badly on the internet? Yes, I know what the answers are going to be. Before I even those that even finished leaving my mouth, I'm like, yeah, I know what people are going to say. What does the D stand for? <laughs> we hope you enjoy your stay. Dot to dot dot to dot dot to dot. What is this? Devil's gawk around all these dot dot dots. Hello, mommy. So what do you think? A great catch, isn't she? 
Who is this guy? Oh, it's the owl! Mom, you really are something else. To think you managed to turn the situation into this. Not only can you marry one of us off, you also gain a free worker. Way to kill two birds with one stone. But Mom, what if she runs away? Wouldn't it be a danger to all of us? Sure, she is naive enough to trust us, but we don't know for sure if she would reveal our secret. That is already within my calculations. A girl that naive, who would believe her if she told anyone? You have nothing to worry about. Sneaky as always. I expect nothing less from you, Mom. Of course, don't underestimate me. Moreover, I trust my intuition. I took a liking the instant I saw her. It will not be long before our dear Cad gets himself a bride. We just have to give him a little push. Playing Cupid, huh? Sounds like fun. As the day turns into night, I close my eyes and remember. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why it's, ca it's called the present. Well, that's a good That's a good little motivational poster to hang above your uh, your office desk. Even if I can hear an evil laughter from across the room, everything will turn out oh, turn out okay in the end. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Right? Right? What could possibly go wrong with this situation? Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's cute. A new life begins. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A month has passed since then. I'm finally getting used to this new lifestyle. Living a life surrounded by a bunch of cute animals. It's like a dream come true. The weather is good as usual. Isn't that right, Mr. Sheep? Oh, it's the sheep. Look at him. Oh, pardon me, but please don't call me that when I'm like this. It might raise unnecessary suspicion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be careful from now on. Thank you. I'm glad you are so understanding. This is Di, the sheep. Other than daily cleaning, I also accompany him to the market from time to time. In order not to raise suspicion, he told me he has to be in his human form outside the circus. To be honest, I'm still not used to his human appearance. It's hard to imagine that this charming young man is in fact quite, or in fact, the cute little sheep. I heard that each of you has different triggers to your transformation. What about you, Di? What makes you transform? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Unlike others, mine seems to be random. Sometimes I wake up finding myself already in this state. Fortunately, I can visit the market because of it, so it has not caused us much trouble. Alternatively, Cad does it during the times when I could not. After all, he transforms just as easily as I do. I see. I can help out too from now on. Thank you, Kleena. Life has been a lot easier since you came. I'm really grateful. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, ain't that die? Who's this? Oh my goodness, who are you, Broccoli Man? What's up, man? Good morning, Chef. I would love to, I would like to have some high quality beefs. Barbecue today. Yes. Awesome. Huh? Who's that chick next to you? You gal? N n no, it's nothing like that. Ain't you a sinful man? Where'd you get yourself such a cutie pie? It's really not like that. No need to deny it, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Kleena. I cannot even explain such a simple thing. I fail at life. Good morning, Mr. Broccoli. My name is Kleena. I've been working at D Circus since last month. Who are you calling Broccoli? But your hair. There's actually a very sad story behind this. I wanted to dye my hair a super cool afro my super cool afro colors of the rainbow, but I accidentally dyed it green, and now it looks like broccoli instead. Ain't that such a sad story? Oh yeah, I'm crying my eyes out. And everyone said it fit me perfectly. I don't know why anyone would want a rainbow afro, but... I love broccoli! Cream of broccoli soup is really good! You speak wisdom for a kid. You sure have good taste, Di. I'm sorry, Kleena. He is completely misunderstood. It's all my fault. 
Oh, that's Die for ya. Such a pessimistic child, ain't he? Die is the name of a famous hero, but he thinks it sounded... But he thinks it sounded like Die instead. I think I might get what the trigger to his transformation is. What? Wait, what? No, I, don't, I didn't get it. More things that have to be explained to me. More time for circus. Thank you for accompanying me, Kleena. You're welcome. I will go prepare the barbecue now. See you later. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. Oh boy, oh boy, isn't this gonna be fun? All right, time to get to work. Um, Let's go to the main room. Oh, the pig's there, but first let's uh, go ahead and clean. This area's really dirty. You finished cleaning. Oh, I didn't get a puzzle piece. Talk to pig. I haven't really talked to you at all, have we? Good morning, Mr. Pig. Oh, well, he don't care. He don't care at all. So cool. Huh? Why did I think a mere pig is so cool? That doesn't make any sense. Groovy! <laughs> so cool! It's exceeded any human comprehension. There's no rhyme or reason. He's just that cool. Whoa. The pig. Choice 16. Uh, girl's room? How about I clean my room? You got a puzzle piece. Look at that. Rest for the day. I don't need to do that. I don't need to rest at all. How about we go to the caravan? Uh, examine the area. Let's sweep. Got a puzzle piece. Talk to Cat. Good morning, Mr. Cat. The weather is good as usual, right? Yeah. Did you know that we are having a barbecue party today? Yeah. Are you going to perform today? Do I look free to you? No good. This isn't working out at all. I want to get close to Mr. Cat, but... He's still as hard to approach as ever. End of free time. Oh, my throat's getting a little dry here. Let me uh, just down some water. Oh, good, good, good. I finished earlier today, so I decided to take a peek on today's performance. Whoosh! He jumps. The snail does things. Magical. Breathtaking. Completely out of this world. I'm in awe no matter how many times I watched it. Together with the audience, I spontaneously put my hands together at the end of the performance. Russell. Huh? Mr. Cat? What are you doing hiding behind the stage? Huh? Wait, don't run. Mr. Cat! Pant Pant. I beg you! Don't come near me. Don't worry, I won't touch you. Please calm down. Why did you chase after me? I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking, I guess. It's just a kind of weird. I've been here quite some time, but I've never seen you on stage before. Is there any reason behind it? I'm just a janitor. It's not like I have stage fright or anything. Huh? You have stage fright? I said I didn't. It's not like I want to perform so badly and being too scared to do so. Would you like me to practice with you? Y you Are you listening to me? You're so adorable, Mr. Cat. Three hearts. He transformed again. Oops. Apparently, once they transform, it lasts for a while before they turn back. Dot, 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 dot. It's, is it just me? You transform a lot lately, don't you, Cad? He was like this yesterday, too, Bunny. It's my fault. I just can't keep myself in check. When I see cute animals, I just... blush. She looks meek, but she's one heck of a predator. Well, carnivores are wonderful, are they not? Ain't elephants herbivores, though? Oh, I am certainly an omnivore. I know you eat everything, but we only have barbecue for today. 
Perfect. I can finally show off my excellent table manners to my lady. Dude, why would you need that for barbecue? Uh, we don't even have a table, yeah? There's uh, Mr. Lion again. Kleena, please have some. Thank you, Dai. They look so good. Bon appetit. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You had better eat it, eat it now before Naveed takes them all. Sharing is caring. I will not eat more than my share, my, my lady. Haha, <laughs> his is extra large, though. And there's the pig. Mr. Pig, do you want some? Nod. They really are good, aren't they? <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Mr. Owl? Do you want some? You didn't happen to forget your job, did you? Job? And I don't mean cleaning. Oh, that's right. Mr. Cat. Would you like to have some? Huh? Okay. Here you go. Open your mouth. I can eat myself. Ha, you should take it like a man. Leave me alone. Dot 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 I hate that transition so much. It has already been a month. How is the progress, Delos? Truth be told, it's a catastrophe. I've been observing the two for quite some time. Cleanus attempts to get closer to Cad is futile. He is trying his hardest to avoid any contact with her. It would help if Cleena herself was more aggressive, but does he dislike her? No, I don't think so. It's Cad we're talking about here. He is the last person to ever take the initiative. The more he cares, the more he hides. I believe he must have a certain degree of fondness towards her. I see. What is your suggestion? I believe we need a change of strategy. Those two are unlikely to make any progress if we leave them alone. Looks like we need some brainstorming. Arrange a family meeting as soon as possible. Your wish is my command. Supposedly, time is subjective. It speeds. Its speed depends on your mood. It goes faster when you're having fun. That's why a month goes by in a blink of an eye. I'm not forgetting anything. Or am I? I don't know, are you? Anacon Animal Complex. Boop, boop, boop. When the sun is scorching hot. This is some ro super royalty-free music right now. Who are you? Oh, that's Din? It's summer. What a bummer. I can't take this heat. It's making me beat. This is Din, the rabbit. Following Cad and Die, he's the next who transforms quite often. I'm still not sure what the exact trigger is, but... Human or not, he talks in rhymes regardless. Or worse, ends every sentence with bunny. It's a rare day off. You should take it easy, Din. I could, If I could, I would. But I have something I must finish today, bunny. You still have to work on your days off? Well, today is special, bunny. We have the test of courage tonight, bunny. The test of courage? It's a popular event in the East, bunny. We choose a location, then set down a token as a proof of our visit, bunny. Sounds fun, doesn't it, Bunny? Wait, I feel like I've heard that heard it before. Isn't the chosen location usually haunted? Ding, ding, ding! We got a winner, Bunny. Don't tell me I have to participate. Partici participation is mandatory, Bunny. We'll be having it in the forest this year, Bunny. Rumor has it that strange things gather in that place, Bunny. Strange things? What kind of strange things? Like, you know, that kind of strange things, Bunny. C can I not join? Resistance is futile, Bunny. Don't worry, Cat and Die were the only two who fainted last year, Bunny. This year is just a wee bit scarier compared to that, Bunny. It's all good as long as I can make the one I shall not name faint, Bunny. Um, may I ask a question? Go ahead, Bunny. 
Why do you always end your sentences with bunny? It's finally the question of the century, huh? Does it bother you? A little. You could possibly- you could possibly be like this since birth, right? What if I am? But aren't you guys born humans? Wait a second. How are you guys able to transform in the first place? It, it, it took you that long to question it, girl? You're asking that now. Took you long enough. I don't know the details, but it has always been like this since I was born. I heard it's some kind of curse. All descendants of the D family are affected by it. Go ask Big Brother if you want to know more. I see. Wait a second. You talk normally just now. You're noticing that now. I already know you're slow, but... I've never talked nonsense in front of Big Brother, you know. Huh? It's fun watching others squirm when I talk like this, Bunny. Yep, it's that expression, Bunny. It's going to be fun tonight, Bunny. I finally understand why they chose him to be the clown on stage. Bunny. Tonight, huh? I don't want to imagine it. All right. Time to get cracking. All right, now what I'm going to do... Uh, clean the boys' room, I guess. There's that weird face, uh... Examinarier. Let's sweep! Everything is good as new. There's not even a speck of dust on the floor. Go elsewhere. Main room. Examine. Let's sweep. Nothing. Talk to mom. Oh, my dear daughter-in-law. How are you doing? Getting used to your new, new life? Nod. Good, good! Delos reporting in. Oh, Delos. Have you informed everyone? Yes. We will have the family meeting right after the test of courage. The test of courage? You are... You all are still doing it? Yes. Din suggested it years ago, and now it has become a yearly tradition. Well, it's fine to have a little fun every now and then, but... Don't be late for the meeting, okay? Your wish is my command. Alright. I cannot wait until nightfall. Um, don't worry, my dear daughter-in-law. You will do fine as long as you do your best. Leave the rest to us, okay? What are they planning to do? I'm too scared to ask. Ah, uh, alrighty. It says help menu. Each month you start off with five hearts. You will lose one after choosing action. The month will end when you run out of hearts or you rest in your room. Okay. I know, figured that much. Examine area. Let's sweep. Okay, nothing. Talk to sheep. Kleena, how you doing? I'm fine. Um, you look troubled. Is something the matter? I heard we are having a test of courage tonight. I really can't deal with those things. I deeply share your sentiment. I've tried to persuade Din, but he is a horror fanatic, fanatic, and there is nothing stopping him. Even so, I will not lose the battle this time. Look at what I've prepared. Oh my, he's got a, he's got a, is that a cat on a cross? <laughs> with paws? Oh my goodness. Amulets, dream catchers, lucky cats, talismans, the rosaries. With these many charms, we should be fine. Feel free to take one with you. Can I? Nod. You see, luck has never been on my side. That is why having these can ease my mind a little. I hope I, can, I hope it can ease yours too, Kleena. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. I'll surely bring this with me tonight. End of free time. As night falls, I'm getting myself ready to run away. But as they said, resistance is futile. Oh my. Here I am, dragged straight into the unholy forest. The atmosphere is perfect, you defect. That, that doesn't rhyme. It looks like it should, but it doesn't. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm like half coughing from that reaction. Perfect, you defect. Perfect, you defect. You gotta say it like that. Say it like that. Who's the real defect here? The slime is going down this time. Who's going down again? Cough. This is the test of courage, not a verbal assault competition. Din, explain our objective. Yes, big brother. Listen up, bunny. 
We'll divide everyone up into pairs using lots. Into pairs using lots, bunny. Each pair will go one at a time down this path until you reach the temple, bunny. Return here once you've placed a token there, bunny. Hope you all return alive, bunny. If I die, please collect my bones. Worry not, I shall protect you with my life, my lady. Um, Amitabha, what? Amitabha, Amitabha. Dude, you might as well carry a Sutra with you. Ha, <laughs> don't die on us, everyone. Hurry up and draw the lots already, bunny. Nod. And the result is, Mr. Owl is paired with Mr. Pig. Mr. Sheep is paired with Mr. Elephant. Mr. Lion is paired with Mr. Snail. As for me, um, it's our turn. Oh, who would have thought? Uh. -huh. He turned into his human self. Uh, I didn't even touch you. That's because you appeared out of nowhere. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. It's fine. Let's go. Nod. Um, why are you holding my hand? It's hard to see at night. It's not because I'm scared or anything, Baka. But your hand is trembling. It's just your imagination. Um, that's the wrong way. <laughs> For some reason, the more he panics, the less nervous I become. Hmm. Don't you think it's a little too quiet here? It's probably better to talk as we walk. Mr. Cat, I mean, Cad. Do you... What do you want to do on stage? Why, why do I have to be on stage? Well, you looked like you wanted to yesterday. It's not like I want to perform so badly. But I guess if I could, I would rather dance. You can dance? A little. I like disco. <laughs> not what I was expecting here. Disco! You know, the one with the cool afros and flashy clothes? That sounds cool! You think so? You should go for it! I would love to see you on stage. I can't re I can't retain my form when I'm on stage. I transform way too easily. As long as I have this problem, Mom will never let me. Even so, you still want to do it, right? That's why you should always practice in secret. I'm sure you can do it if you practice more often. But don't worry, I'll accompany you. Let's practice together. Okay. It's just a little, but I think he's opening up to me. That makes me real happy. Phew. We've been walking for quite some time. I wonder if we are almost there. Huh? I thought I hear something. It's meant to be heard. Was that my imagination? Um, Cad? D did you hear that too? What are you talking? Oh, <gasps> it's a spooky spookster! What's that? <laughs> no, Cad! Don't faint! All right, I have a secret weapon with me. Take that! The ultimate lucky cat. Oh my, that didn't work. Uh, dear father and mother in heaven, isn't life short? Oh, are our parents dead? Meanwhile, what else is going on? Everyone sure is taking their time today. Right, Archard? Nod. What does this pig look like as a human? He's either going to be like intentionally like as ugly as possible or he's just gonna be like extremely buff like a jojo and look like a jojo's character he already does does the super sugoi jojo face anyway who cares speaking of which did you know that the lucky cat is also known as the welcoming cat that is the last thing i would bring to such a place you don't know what kind of things it might attract want some tea nod nod <laughs> Hmm, what a peaceful night. Dot, 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 dot. Devil's Dock, Gakuren all over again. Dot, dot, dot. Delos? Yes? Didn't I tell you not to be late for the meeting? 
So where is everyone? My apologies. Due to today's event, everyone but Archer and I are unavailable. Oh. Today's event. You mean the test of courage? Yes, it was too successful. Everyone but Archer and I were unconscious. Wasn't Din the one in charge of it? What about him? He is also out of commission. It seems the rumor about the forest is true. When is our next break? Everyone should be available next month. Delos? Yes? Don't you think it's time to stop doing the test of courage every year? You know that will make Din cry. You can make him cry harder for disrupting the meeting today. Your wish is my command. Dear Father and Mother in Heaven, Seems that the road to love is paved with good intentions. Even so, we will still not try to lose our way. Oh, goody, 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 goody. I hope. Hope what, dear? All hope is lost. Manicon Animal Complex. Bum, 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 bum. Needs a, little, needs a little happy jingle for that. As the leaves fall. It's September. Whew. So many leaves. Well, it's already autumn. Time sure flies. I didn't expect my life to change so much in just a season. Many things happen, strange things, happy things, even scary things. Nevertheless, life has been very fulfilling. It makes me glad to be here. Huh? Mr. Lion? What are you doing running around the circus? It's that time of the year. I've gotta get my body in shape. That time of the year? You know, the sports day. There's gonna be a sports event held in town center, uh, in the town center next week. I join every year. You should join too, Kleena. Sports, huh? I'm not that good at them. Ha, it ain't about winning or losing. All that matters is you having fun. There's still plenty of time. Think about it, yeah? Nod. I'm gonna run some more laps. Catch you later. Wow, he runs so fast. That's so amazing. Sports event, huh? I'll decide later. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. Okay. I've been to the stage. Examine the area. Let's sweep. We found a puzzle piece. Pant pants. I can't do this anymore. Good morning, Mr. Cat. Ah, what are you doing? You practicing on stage? No, no, I'm just, you know, the sports event is coming. Oh, are you going to join too, Mr. Cat? N -n no way! It's not like I want to join so badly that I practice this hard. Still is not, still not honest as usual, huh? Sorry, Mr. Cat. I can't take this anymore. Huh? You're too adorable! Glomp. Wait, wait, no! Uh-oh. He's transforming! This has become quite a routine. Don't you get bored hugging me? What are you talking about? It's humanity's natural instinct to cuddle adorable things. I suppose it's fine. This makes it easier for me to go watch the event. I knew it. You're joining, right? I'm just going to watch. Let's go together, okay? Y you Are you listening to me? Ugh, fine. Let's go together. Giggle. All right, go elsewhere. Caravan. Examine the area. Let's sweep. Got a puzzle piece. Talk to Rabbit and Snail. Heave ho. Heave ho. What are you doing, Mr. Snail? Oh, I'm practicing for the upcoming sports event. These dumbbells are empowering me. Dumbbells. How dumb. Beat it, furball. Are you going to join the sports event too, Mr. Rabbit? No way, bunny. Who wants to be all sweaty like jocks? They stink like socks. Dude's bitter because he sucks at sports. <laughs> you moron! Brain is better than brawn. Let's see if your precious brain can withstand these dumbbells. Bring it, bunny. In your face. I better back off when it comes to these two. Okay. Got one heart left. Main room. Talk to... Let's talk to the owl. Good morning, Mr. Owl. Howdy, Kleena. I see you're getting along with well, well with my siblings. Yes. 
Everyone has been very nice to me. That's good to hear. Um, this might be a weird question, but Din told me it was due to a curse that you guys could change into animals. Is it true? Oh, are you curious? Yes. What kind of curse is it? How'd you guys get it? Is there a way to remove it? You don't like our animal forms. No, of course not. Animals are the best. Then all is good, isn't it? It is. Um, uh, wait a second. Did he just judge my questions yet again? I want to know more, but curiosity killed the cat. I should. I feel I shouldn't prove any probe any further. End of free time. All right. A week passes by in the blink of an eye. I should make another save. It's been a little bit. Yeah, I haven't saved since June. Cad, what's wrong? Well, you see, today is the day of the sports event. I thought we promised to go together. Of course. Let's go. Nod. Dot, 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 dot. Welcome to the annual sports event. Participants, please come here to sign up. Over here, Cad. Wait. Uh... Oh, it's Broccoli Man. Welcome. Oh, it's the cutie pie. Mr. Broccoli, what are you doing here? I'm helping out the event. You know, food and stuff. I see. So, which event you going for? We got running, marathon, hurdling, uh, I, or lawn. Oh, long jump is what he mean. he's trying to say. Long jump, triple jump, high jumps, uh, Discus throw, javelin throw, hammer throw, and relay races. Whoa, there's a lot of events. How about you, Cad? What are you gonna do? What are you going for? Cad? Did he run away? Hey, Kleena. What was it? Was that? Have you decided to join too? Huh? Cad? Hey, ain't that kid? What's up, man? Oh, boy. Ain't that, a, ain't that a contrast of appearance? It's been a while, hasn't it? Haha, <laughs> you look well, chef. Man, the virgin cad versus the... Ch versus... Wait, the virgin cad versus the chad kid. That's a little bit of a tongue twister, that one is. Cad is not the chad. C kid? Mr. Lion? <laughs> oh, it's me, all right. All right, this is the first time you've seen me like this. Going for the champion again, kid. Champion. This kid here is the undefeated champ of high jump. Wow, really? Oh, I do my best. By the way, where's my little bro? I thought I saw him just now. That's strange. He was next to me just now. Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind the bush. Hey, Cad. What are you doing here? Pout. Yeah, clean, huh? Are you going to join? Huh? Uh, let's... I doubt I'm ever going to reload the save, but whatever. Of course I am. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. But, but what if you're not good at it? Would you risk being laughed at just because you thought it might be, might be fun? Buddy, I'm a YouTuber. Don't even start that crap with me. You stop self-depreciating and start joining in on the fun. Oh, I didn't think that far. Sorry, but I'm not going to join. Oh. Hey, Kleena. You'd better sign up now if you're planning to join. Oh, I'm coming. Are you worried for my little bro? I feel terrible leaving him alone like this. He spent the whole week practicing for the event. There's no way he wouldn't want to join, yet he... He's always been like that. It's not talent he lacks, it's courage. As much as I adore him, I can't be the person who tells him that. Why? Being twins, we get compared all the time. Rather than helping, whatever I said would backfire. That's why, Kleena, you help him, yeah? I'll do my best. Ha, <laughs> thanks. You're truly a good girl. The event's starting. He'd better go. Nod. Following Kid, I decided to participate in the high jump. I didn't make it far as expected. 
In fact, I fail on my very first try. How embarrassing. Oh, it's kid's turn. Here goes nothing. Whoa! He does a super stud jump. Look at that. Wow. Looks as if he's flying. See? Brother is amazing, isn't he? He's not only talented, he also has the ability to capture people's hearts. He makes friends easily, everyone adores him. The complete opposite of me. Don't be like that. Congrats, kid. Thanks. You win all the time, it's like cheating. You got hidden wings somewhere? <laughs> yeah, right. Running away again? If you don't try, nothing will happen. It's easy for you to say. I'm not like you. Excuses, yeah? Kleena, how about you? Did you enjoy it? I failed on my first try. It was embarrassing. But I had a great time. It was really fun. Ah, that's the spirit. Well then, I'm going back first. Catch you later. Cad. Kid is just concerned about you. Don't take it to heart, okay? No, he's correct. I'm a coward. That's how it. That's how it always. Ha yeah, that's how it's always been. There's so many things I want to do, but I always run away at the last minute. I can't just be like brother. I'm just a nobody. No, you're doing fine, Cad. I don't know what I want to do in life. You're doing much better compared to me. I mean, unlike me, you actually have a choice. I don't have any choice. All you need is just a little courage. So buck up. We're all here to help you. Dot, 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 dot. Is everyone here? Yes. Good, good. After a little mishap, we can finally have a proper family meeting. Right, Din? Switch. This is about Cat and Kleena, right? I've already thought of a brilliant idea. What is it? Cinderella. It's the, that's the theme for next year for the next year's special performance. Let Cad and Kleena play the main roles. You do know about Cad's problem on stage, don't you? That's exactly why we do it. Let them practice together. That will create plenty of opportunity for them to spend time together. What do you think, Delos? It's quite a gamble. However, I think it's one worth trying. If we succeed, not only will the two get together, Cad can also overcome his stage fright. I see, I see. Killing two birds with one stone. But what if we fail? <laughs> Still pessimistic as ever. We won't know until we try, yeah? Exactly. Besides, it's not like Kleena has to end up with Cad, right? There's still seven of us left to choose. Silence. Isn't it a little too late? That is right. I don't want a daughter-in-law who plays around. She picked Cad, so she had better stick with him. It's not like they're even dating now. Silence, Din. Or do you want more whippings? I'm very sorry. All right, then. Let's go with the Cinderella plan. Delos, I'll leave you to guide everyone through this. Can you do it? Smile. Of course. Your wish is my command. Let us bring happiness to those two. By the way, Din. Huh? Don't say unnecessary things to Kleena. Anything about the D family curse is off limits. Got it. Yeah. I don't know what I want to do in life. That was true until a few months ago. When I watched Cad trying his hardest, I've come to realize... Even someone like me can dream too. Good god, look what the time it is. End of demo! End of demo! Alright, wow. I just said, look at the look at the time. By rabbit's path, by sheep's path, by team introvert. All right, so I reached the end of this, the end of the little demo. So 
Oh, I actually, unironically, ended up enjoying this. I actually had some fun playing this, not even gonna lie. But, so yeah, the rest, there's the full game. I think I took a quick look on, I took a quick look on their website there. And I think, like, there's, they're actually still working on this. It came out in, like, 2016, and they're still adding routes to it over time. There's, like, another one planned for 2020. And that's gonna be it, but thank you all for checking this out. And, uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.